time. All right. If you see me talking right now, that means I didn't say anything too crazy. So this is the replay. So, hey, we're going to wait until people get in the chat and then we'll get started. And don't mind my nail getting ready to send to them while we're doing this. Is anybody going to join me? Is anyone here? Am I by my lonesome? Is anyone home? Oh my God. Oh gosh, I'm really talking to myself. Wow. Oh, there's someone here. Hi guys. Hi, happy place. And Melody for real. I think it's just as soon as I sing your name, I just start singing melodies from heaven in my head. Melodies from heaven. Oh, what's up, y'all? It's more than just three of us. Yay. Hey, Cook. What's up, Kiara? And Ronice. It's Jazz Darling. Hey, Kyra. What's up, ML? Oh, goodness. Oh, uh, what's up, Pisces? And Sheena Green, Trap Elite. Oh, it's a bunch of y'all. Hey, y'all. How's everybody Saturday going? If I'm looking down, it's because I broke my knee off. I'm just going to go ahead and take the rest of them off. What's up, Brittany Nicole? We're getting deep in here. Hey, I see. You got your tracking number. That's what's up. I just sent them out. For those who, we'll have to talk about that. Y'all, listen. We got to talk. Um, what's up, the pro diva? Hi, husband. Y'all, my little crazy husband in the comments. Y'all going to see him a lot more. He, he'll be here soon. So as much as I would prefer to, you know, keep certain things off camera. You see my niece and weaseled her way into a video. But your Trey Lux ship, yes. I hope you got that untied or not. But yeah, I've been trying to like keep family offline. But my niece is six and she loves watching YouTube. And she asked me, could she be in the video? And since her and her mom was here, I was like, girl, come on. So she paid her little YouTube appearance. And so will the hubs, him and his love for Mercedes. When is season two of uh, the Down in the Valley? What, what, when is season two coming back? I need somebody to tell me something because I need to know what's going on with the people. Hey, Donisha and Tasha K. Oh, all the comments just stopped. Hey, Sissy. Hey, Piano Love. You love seeing her. Hey, Faye, how you doing? I'm really good, y'all. So listen, some of y'all on YouTube are going to get mad at me, especially the ones of y'all that don't use uh, Instagram. Girl, my daughter watch YouTube for hours every day. I have to make her get off. Yeah, that's my niece. And so when she likes to watch my videos, and so... Um, she was like, I want my own channel. Am I pregnant? Child, no. No. <laughs> no. Uh, yeah, but my niece, she loves YouTube. So she was really happy to watch that video back and be able to see herself. Hey, uh, is it Aqu Aquasha and Quasha? Child, give me phonetically how to say it in the comments so I can get your name right. I'm real big on saying people's name right because you'd be like, uh, uh you can say Schwarzenegger. You can figure out my name too, honey. Oh, uh, yes. Mr. Faye is in the building. Hopefully he don't show out in the comments. So for y'all that don't follow me on Instagram, y'all know I make my own DIY growth oil. I didn't sell it or nothing like that, like online. Well, I did used to, but it was just a lot to keep up with. So I stopped. And then people kept begging me, begging me, begging me. Can you just make it? So I finally got sick of it and was just like, you know what? This one time I'm going to do it. So, and I didn't even put it on my main timeline. I just snuck it in my stories. It was like, look, this one time, since y'all keep asking me, I'm going to do it. And I bought, so the bottles that I get, they come in bundles of 24. I just bought three. And I was just like, look, I got 72 bottles and that's all I'm making. And when they gone, they gone. Don't ask me no more. Why y'all buy up them 72 bottles in like an hour and some change. I think it was like an hour and a half and everything was gone. And then I got people saying, well, you posted it at noon and I was on my lunch break. So I didn't get an opportunity. So a bunch of people was asking me to do it. So in the future, I might do it again, but I never told YouTube because for some bright idea, I decided to do this while I was moving. And so to say it was stressful is an understatement. And I'm like, I'm glad I never said it on YouTube because my following on Instagram is really small. And the ones who check the story is even smaller. So I was like, that I can handle. But had I told the channel, that would have been a problem. So one day in the future, I might make it for those. Let's see. What are you allergic to? Or do you have somewhere? Okay. So 
poly gel that poly gel nail kit from model ones i am allergic to it and it's not that the the chemical is a problem it's just like monomer like when you go to the nail shop the monomer they use with the acrylic i'm severely allergic to it and i didn't know that that ingredient was in their base coat so i tried it again like the first time i used it i broke out and i was just like let me just try it again this time it was even worse and so because i scratched my skin on my neck with those poly gel nails everything up here broke out and so like i've had deadlines that i have missed because i have been in a rash my face been breaking out when i say them nails jack me up and it, i just want to express it was not model one's fault it was my little raggedy skin so yeah you want me to make it again i'm thinking about it did i toss the poly gel my sister got it hey tyson so in the future i might do it but here's the thing Wait a minute, wait a minute. What is the title about? So I moved, y'all. So we moved from one apartment to this one. And then next weekend, I got to go to Texas and we bringing the Texas stuff here. That's why I said y'all gonna see a little bit more of Mr. Faye because it's just like, if I'm doing my regular content, y'all ain't gonna see him. But if I'm blogging or something, naturally he gonna pop up. So y'all might see him a little more. So that's what I meant by my life is in shambles. I've been wearing the same clothes because everything is in boxes and it's just been a lot. So anyway, back to this oil. Um, will I sell y'all the recipe? No, nah, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> so I thought about making it available one more time. And this time I will make it available to my YouTube subscribers. But the reason I've been doing it like that, like I just sold it the one time is because with me being a content creator and my primary focus is natural hair. Say I'm selling some hair growth oil, right? And then this is just hypothetical. Like, say the main choice also has some, which they do. So say I say something really negative about the main choice and I'm selling something that they're selling. They can, you know, they they can come after my pockets. And so, you know, I'm not going to put myself in the position to where I'm losing. And since right now, like my vlogging and stuff, it's been cool. But my primary bread and butter is natural hair. Since I'm full time, it's, it's not wise for me to stop making that natural hair content, which is why I'm not going to sell the oil full time. So that's why I was like, I'll do a one time sale. And when it's gone, it's gone. And I'm not doing it again until I'm no longer making natural hair content. So I don't know. I was going to have to DM you and file for the oil. That's if I do it again, y'all. You look good. Thank you. If it works for you, you want it. Oh, OK. Moving is stressful. Moving has been very stressful. And the fact that we got to do it again. Yeah, that, that that's real interesting. Hey, um, Gambella, I need to message you because y'all know I had a giveaway for my YouTube subscribers. And so uh, I picked five people. Um, you know, you had to say how you find my channel. And I wanted it to be to people that if I'm going to give away some, I want to support the people that have been supporting me. So the number one thing to me was because I have a photographic memory. I needed to recognize your name. Like if I never see your name comment on something, I was like, I'm not picking that person. But if you're somebody that I know has been supportive so much so that I recognize your screen name, that's who I picked. So the five winners, and I'm also going to put it on the community tab. I picked Gambella, EJG's mom. I picked Cassie Johnson, Sean Wu, Love King Forever, and Ashley Allen. And the reason I did it was because they followed all the rules and I recognized their names. So I'm going to do it again. Hey, Cassie, uh, I'm going to do it again in another month. Because to me, it's like, I'm not rich by far. Hear me. I am not rich. But if I can, you know, support those who have been supported to me. Yes, I do recognize you. Um, but if I could support those that support me, I would like to. So I was like, once a month doing a giveaway, I don't mind doing that. So yay. I'm not here for no giveaway. I'm here for the hair content. That's cool. I I, I respect that. Thank you. Currently drawing a wash and go. Watch the extreme gel for the first time. I'm trying to be like you. Hey, that's actually how I touched up my hair. Hey, love came forever. I don't know if you missed the announcement, but you was one of the ones that won the giveaway. My t-shirts finally came and now my mom is trying to steal them. <laughs> Thank you. That's dope. Thank you. Congratulations, y'all. Yeah, so I'm definitely going to try to do it uh, once a month. That's something I learned. For me, I'm like, if you see someone doing something successfully, I'm not saying copy them, but I'm definitely saying learn from them. And so the one thing I learned from Courtney Adelaide from The Main Choice was 
give back. Because I used to enter her giveaways. Y'all know I want a trip to Hawaii and the main choice paid for it. So I was just like, I feel like it's only right to pay it forward. Now, my pockets ain't nowhere near like Courtney. I look like a charity case compared to her. But if I can help somebody, I would like to. So I'm going to try to do that once a month to make sure I give it back at least five people. So I'm going to make some flexi gel and I've got some glycerin to use as a preservative. Oh, OK. My hair don't like flexi. For some reason, it flakes up on me. I don't know how to touch up washing goes. I just rewash my hair again. So let me show you. Hold on. Why don't you tell me? Girl, I'm on y'all. Uh, oh, no. No. Oh, goodness. I'm in shambles. Okay, here I come. All right, we're back. So we got my baby daddy. Um, for some reason, like people were emailing me saying, this is not ash, this is acetone because I'm soaking off these sips. But people thought this was a new formula. It's not, it's the same old, same old. They just changed the package. So as far as touching up my hair, because wet line is so watery, I'm able to just use the, the wet line. So this is the wash and go idea when I said I wanted fluffy results. Fluffy results are cute, but they don't last as long, especially if you're sweating. And because I've been doing a lot of moving around and stuff because of the move, I've been sweating. So the way I touch up my hair, hey, Miss Faye, when you think you're doing a meet and greet. First of all, thank you. Secondly, um, I would like to do one soon. Especially, and listen, when I say this, I'm not telling y'all what to do with y'all body. I'm just saying I did it. So I'm double dosed up, if you understand what I'm saying. Moderna mommy in the building. So I feel comfortable now. I just, I don't know when, but before the end of the year, I want to do at least one. So anyway, this is some wet line gel. Um, what I'll do is, let me find something that looks, let's just say this. If I just need to make a few curls pop, I take some wet line, rub it on my hair. And then I finger coil it really, really tight, right? And I leave it alone. And you see, child, look at it. So then I just do that and just like find little areas. So instead of refreshing my whole head, I find little places just to make a couple like curls in that area pop. And then it'll make my hair look fresher versus just looking real ragged. Child, go to make me wash my hair if you want. Uh, so then let's see, do this again. I just take this, take some whistle. You keep missing my question. I'll just send it to you on IG. Post it one more time. I wasn't looking, y'all. So I uh, just finger coil certain areas and it'll give it a fresher look. You see? Look different already. So yeah, get you some wet line, do a finger coil in a couple spots and it make you look like you pop. Can you please help us with moisture? How to not have dry, dry hair. What is your regimen? So that I can, Piano Love, I'll look for your comment. What is your regimen? Because that'll help me know a little bit more. Um. Jalen Johnson. Thank you. Thank you, Fresh Bunny. Uh, just got some Uncle Funky Daughter Curl Cream. Can't wait to use it. I've never used their curl cream. I don't know how that is. So you let me know. Hair is growing and looking beautiful. Thank you. Uh, does gel make your hair thinner? I really want to keep my hair as thick as possible. It has the potential to. It depends on the gel. Uh, if the gel can get really, really firm and you try to manipulate your hair while it's in a really firm state, you will cause breakage. Like you will cause it. So Will you ever do a flexi where I said on your length you have now? I don't know. I've never really been the best with flexi where I says. I don't know. I kind of think I'm thinking about it because I definitely want to try that and some bantu knots, like a full head of bantu knot out. So I don't know. That might be fun because I've been trying to get away from washing goes, especially because my stylist was like, I want you to stretch your hair between wash days as much as possible. You like my curls? Thank you, Sienna. I make shea butter as a side hustle for fun. That sounds fun. I'm so glad you've got incense over there now instead of that candle. I know it's all about angles, but my anxiety about to get that way. <laughs> Let me tell you something. A lot of people would message me when I would have like the Jackie Item candle lit and they'd be like, the fire is too close to the plant. But what y'all can't see is that it's all at an angle. So, But I understood the people that was just like, girl, you about to set your house on fire for a YouTube video. Um, I recently used the avocado cream mask from Allocate and it is life. I've never used it. Girl, you're going to make me try that out. Are you growing your hair out currently? Yes. It is actually very shrunken right now. Um, I didn't stretch it or anything, but I am growing it out. I originally wanted it cut. I wanted a taper cut. I wanted it really, really funky right here and shaved on the sides. Maybe even get a couple lines shaved in my head, but I have decided to grow my hair 
out. Um, let me scroll up because evidently I missed a lot. Courtney believe in seed time and harvest. That's why she's blessed. Absolutely. I didn't, I didn't want to go there, but you know, given it shall be given unto you. President Abba, can you give me a shout out? Hey, Simple Sassy. Um, hey, Faye, hey. Let me scroll up some more. Ooh, and now as I'm trying to scroll up some more. Okay, your hair is beautiful. You look awesome. Thank you. Um, how are your cravings? I am doing good. What happens though is like as far as like sugars and sweets and stuff, no. The only thing I crave is Starbucks. I really need to get over that. Um, but I do good until really late at night. Like if I don't go to sleep by 10, all of a sudden I get hungry again. So it's not that I have cravings, it's just that I get hungry late at night, and that's not good because I like to intermittent fast before I go to sleep. Like try, usually I try to stop eating after eight. But if I stay up later, I'll find myself snacking. So it's not really that I have cravings. I just got bad sleep habits and I end up eating late at night. Uh, I want that cut too, but my husband won't do it for me. That's the issue with having a husband as your stylist. I understand. I use Shea Moisture shampoo and conditioner and Miss Jackie's don't shrink for twist out. Um, The Shea Moisture shampoo, good. The Shea Moisture conditioner, I would say change that out. Try something else. And Miss Jackie's, I find when I use, respectfully, my hair is dry when I use, um, I think you're talking about Aunt Jackie's. Um, my hair was dry when I used it. So switch your conditioner and that, that don't shrink, especially for a twist out. Um, you want to try maybe a cream and a mousse, not the, the gel for a twist out. So switch those two products. Um, your daughter loves Starbucks. I do too. I'm just still impressed by the hair growth after the big shop. It's so beautiful. Thank you for <laughs> your bald head. <laughs> hey, one vixen one. Um, an undercut would look cute on you. I think so too. And like, even still, I'm just like, I still have the growth at the top, and I could take some of it at least off the size or the back. Y'all know who I love. Her name on. Instagram. If y'all heard a dryer going, my bad, y'all. Uh, I need something to wear. So um, her name is Hey Diamond Onyx. Her name on Instagram is I am Tiffany Renee. She was the original one that had almost like a mohawk for natural hair. Her shade, her sides are shades, and she sometimes get like designs in it. I would love that haircut. The only reason I didn't get it is because I feel like a lot of people have it, but her cut is so fire to me. Like that's my dream cut. Um, or a cream or gel custard. Yes, I agree with that. Hey, hey, Faye, Starbucks is the spot. I have so many stores on my account right now. Yeah, I do too. I get a lot of free stuff. Have you tried the strawberry funnel cake drink from Starbucks? I did, and I didn't like it. <laughs> and, like, I even put caramel syrup in it, and I just was like, no, so I, I wouldn't get it again. Like it was all right at best, but it was one of those things where I was kind of making myself like it versus like when I tried the white chocolate mocha for the first time and I was like, oh, I love this. I didn't feel that about the, the funnel cake drink. I didn't like that. What's the best deep conditioner? It depends. It depends. And so um, let's see. For my moisturizing deep conditioner, I would say on the high end, Curl Smith Double Cream Deep Quencher is my favorite. Um, for a lower cost alternative, I would say, what's my favorite moisturizing deep conditioner? I actually like the Texture ID deep treatment. The smell is a little strong, but I actually like that. As far as protein moisture balance, although, and this is just me being honest, I know a lot of people are upset with my ill as far as influences go. And I definitely understand because I stand in solidarity with Linda. Um, but the one thing I'll never take away is that Babasu and Mint Deep Treatment is like, seriously, I, I, I can't take that away. Now, I don't like how she operated or I should say, you know, I ain't going to rehash that. But just know that Babasu and Mint is good. Um, I also like the Pumpkin Mint Deep Treatment from Curl Dynasty. That was good, too. Um, how's the nose healing? It's healing really good. It's finally at the point now where it's not like 
getting leaks and stuff. If my glasses hit it, it's not hurting. It's been about a month. So I'm at the place now where I can comfortably change it. I just haven't done it yet. I want a cute little, little uh, hoop. TGIM. Yeah, it's cool too. Um, Try the Twix Starbucks drink. It's so good. I never knew they had one. Hi, Dinah Nicole. Peach black tea is good. Um, you stuck on TGIN for conditioning. Yeah, it's good. I did not get anything from the TGIN sale. Y'all, I've been trying to cut back on purchasing stuff just because I have so much. And so if it's not something that I need for work, aka a video, I have not been making purchases. I'm trying to use up what I got because even though I just gave so much away to those kids, I still got way too many deep treatments. Um, well, not even just deep treatment. I got too much of everything. Um, have I tried the As I Am temporary color? No, I have not. I didn't know you used the, the Boss Woman. I don't use it anymore, but I have in the past, and it was one of my favorites. Um, another one that was a favorite of mine for a long time, like a staple, was the OG main choice, uh, the one in the purple and black. Yes, yes, I love that. Um, my hair does not like styling products. Really? Oh, yeah, you got to do what's best for you. Um, water today. Y'all, I've been trying to get them orders out from the oil. Because, listen, the one thing ain't nobody ever going to do is say I stole their money. Amen, church? So I have been so focused on work. I have not really drank much of anything. But I'm going to. Especially because my sister, I had to cut it out. Because, listen, my sister, she's a pistol. Um when she took my blood for the fertility test, what y'all didn't know was she struggled. She had to like squeeze and do a lot of stuff to my finger. And she said, I know you're dehydrated because if you were fully hydrated, when I stuck you, your blood would have came out. And the fact that there was no flow and I got a struggle lets me know you're not drinking. And my sister, even though she's my sister, she act like she's my mama. And so she went at my neck. So I'm going to do a little better with drinking. Check Burlington for TGIM products. I didn't know they had been a Burlington in so long, y'all. I need to go because these clothes, these clothes. I don't know what size I am. I just like buy something to put on. So I need to get something. Um, get your water now, please. I will in a second. Are y'all really about to? Who y'all think y'all talking? To? Hold on, Tahoe. Hold on, y'all. My goodness, y'all. I'm coming. Cause I don't know who y'all think y'all talking to. Y'all don't run my life. I just want to let you know. Okay, I got some water. Okay, that's all you had to do. I don't know who y'all think y'all talking to. Whatever. I'm the, it's the fact that y'all, whatever. <laughs> Why are y'all bullying me? <laughs> okay, y'all. Okay, listen. Y'all know I can only drink a little at a time. So look. Oh, oh. Well, I drank something. Now leave me alone. <laughs> it's the fact that y'all are bullying me. I appreciate it though, y'all, because <laughs> y'all, when I say, especially over the last two weeks, I was doing so good, just like feeling good going to the gym and everything, but getting ready for this move, I let the movers do as much as they could, but there's still so much I had to do myself. So let's see. Yes, please. You got to take care of yourself along with everything else. I will do better. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. But y'all, I can't tell you the last time I took an iron supplement and y'all know I'm anemic. I need to do better. Um, I was taking my vitamins, but I just, the iron, I have not had it. So my skin is beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> we love you. Well, I love y'all back. I appreciate it. Especially y'all that be blowing up my DMs. It's some of y'all. 
Okay, the girl that makes my press on nails, uh, D Gemma Nails, absolutely love her in real life. She she and I met because she sent me a complimentary set of nails. And then ever since then, I've been purchasing from her. But I also give her a shout out because she's a black woman. Now, of course, and this is us off subject. If I buy something, I don't have to give you a shout out because I, I pay for it. But because she's a black woman, I really support her. I've been, you know, talking about her a lot. But anyway, she every single night for the like last week or something. She said a reminder and she messages me. It's like, girl, you need to take your vitamins. And do you know, even after she messages me, I'll be like, thank you. Ain't got up and took a nothing. Y'all, I got to do better. I have to do better. We care about you. Thank you. I appreciate it. You look great. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, you need to take care of yourself. I'm, I'm trying, y'all. I have not been to the gym in almost two weeks. I've been working out, but I just have not gone to the gym. I'm still losing, but I have not gone to the gym. I've been eating okay. Um, I just the water and and the the vitamins. Now we gotta bully you and see. Y'all don't run me, okay? Drink the water. Okay. okay, I drank some water. You stop using. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate you not using say eyes. Yes, I appreciate that. Me too. Uh, <laughs> have you ever been to Jada Kennedy for your wax? Who is Jada Kennedy? I don't. I don't know who that is. Do you still use your treadmill? No, I'm really thinking about selling it. Like the whole reason I got it was because I wanted to work out, and this was during the high point of quarantine. And I was like, well, I ain't going to nobody's gym. <laughs> so I bought a treadmill and the weights, but I actually really love my gym because it's like the atmosphere is really nice. They have a women's only room. So I don't have to worry about, you know, the gym heads. Just, I don't have to hear all that mess. And I just look like, I literally love going to that gym. So I'm thinking about selling my treadmill. Jada Kennedy has a wax studio in St. Louis and an excellent YouTube channel. Oh, wait, hold on. Cause listen, you ain't got to tell me twice, but because listen, I, I need some money. Okay. I need some money. Jada, Jada Kennedy. Okay. Oh, she's pretty. Okay, let me hit follow. Boom. Got her. Um, I thought you said you use your trip meal as a clothes hanger. No, I don't simply because if I have so much as a shirt hanging on her, Mr. Faye gonna be like, uh, you spend all that? This ain't a hanger. So I, I don't. Um, there have been times that I use it, but I'm more so, um, I'm more so just go to the gym just cause I like it. I take a multivitamin with iron for a bariatric pill. Oh, that's good. I was taking pro care now i think it was called pro care and it was good but i went back to taking the main choice just for healthy hair and nails especially because um i didn't want my hair to fall out from surgery so i was taking that as my daily vitamin plus an iron tablet um and this works for me but i definitely think bariatric uh patients should take bariatric vitamins i just haven't uh yeah and that's what i mean by my life is in shambles you know barely eating and that, that's not intentional, okay, because you we don't endorse that foolishness. But I just I have not been taking care of myself because of this move. But now that I'm settled in, I've done a lot of unpacking. At least my work studio is set up, so that's good. Notes, what I miss. You ain't miss nothing, sir. You ain't miss nothing. How about that? Cause and y'all don't tell him nothing either. He don't need to know. Um do you see a difference in your nails with the main choice vitamins? Yes, I do. I see that they are growing when I do take them. I notice it for sure. And they seem firmer too. Um, husband, somebody said, hey, Mr. Faye. Um, let me scroll up a little bit, y'all, because I've been missing stuff. Uh, drink that water. Get you some elderberry vitamin D, vitamin C, and zinc, and you'll be good. True. Uh, hey. I was taking something. It starts with a Q. I wish I remembered the name, but the hubs friend told us about it and it helped me a lot. I just can't remember the name. It, it got really popular because people thought it was a cure for, you know, that little, you know, Panasonic situation. Um, but yeah, it, it worked really well. 
Um, I'll take some of your black elevator vitamin D. The doctor ordered me to take that much vitamin D. Oh, that's good. I need to take some vitamin D too. Mr. Faye has answered the chat. He is a stalker, so we'll just leave that there. Um, okay, I'm scrolling up. I see all the water comments. TJN is the go for you. That's good. Um, you didn't care for the Babasu Amen. You didn't. The smell was okay. Yeah, I will say the smell was a lot. Um, as I've gotten older, highly scented products, I don't really like that. Um, I just prefer it to have like a really neutral scent. It can have a little bit of a scent, but not too much. And sometimes people be doing the most. That's why I haven't been using texture ID as much. And I love texture ID. Like seriously, you run in there, pay seven, eight dollars for a product, and it was good to me. But I, the smell is a lot now. Um, how often do you take the main choice vitamins? Have to take hate taking pills multiple times a day. I take two at one time. Like they said that you can take, you know, them at separate time, but I don't have time for that. I take them right before I go to sleep. You're such a beautiful person inside and out. Thank you. How do you straighten your hair without heat damage to your curls? I don't straighten my hair because the you pour wig was sponsored. I did, you know, do a little bit of a flat iron, but my stylist had already put like heat protecting and stuff on there. So I knew I would be safe. But as far as straightening my own hair, I don't do that no more. I go, I don't do my own trims or straighten my hair because I find that my hair is thriving better once I do go see my stylist. So I would just say, find somebody you trust. And I know, and, and that's a sidebar, I know it's hard finding a stylist to trust with your hair, especially when you work real hard to maintain your natural hair and keep it healthy and then somebody fry it. So I understand the, the hesitance and I'll never push for people to go, but I do definitely say in my hair care regimen, I do better when I don't straighten my own hair. The most I'll do is blow dry it and I'll make sure I use a lot of heat protectant, but I even stretch it the night before with big chunky twists and then I blow dry it straight. But as far as flat ironing my whole hair straight, I don't do that no more. You caught the live. Thank you. Just saying hello from Nebraska. You love my channel. Thank you. Um, okay. She's a waxer in St. Louis. I side-eyed you for going to European. Why you side-eyed me? Um, yeah. That's about and um, hold on. I'm gonna find the name of it because it it wasn't it wasn't the CoQ10. Um, hold on, yeah. Yeah, I don't have a good stylist, and the ones that are good are 30 plus minutes away and require you to do the 30 day detox before coming in. Gotcha. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> okay. Um, it's, hold on, I'm going to put it in the chat, y'all, the name of the, the uh, vitamin I was taking. There you go. I'm done with hairdressers. Too many horrible experiences. I respect that because realistically, and even my stylist said it, she was like, being a certified stylist only means you did enough to pass the state board. It does not mean anything more than that. You may know something, but you passed the state board. And that's true. I respect it though. Um, because my stylist, I love her. <laughs> After one experience, ain't nobody else touching my hair but her. But yeah, like I, I respect the art, but it definitely just means you pass the state board. Just because somebody's certified doesn't mean they know healthy hair care. Because I've had my hair fried by a stylist. So I understand. Um I, hey, friend, I love the way you incorporate sponsored videos, donations. Thank you. I try to be as honest as possible because one thing I can't stand is when somebody got an undisclosed ad. Like, I watched something the other day where somebody clearly had a sponsored video. Like, say they did an a, a ad. Hey, Witty. Um, say they did an ad and they work with Target and they'll be like, and these lamps, I just picked that up at Target and then 30 seconds later, and Target and then, and and Target, it's like, I can tell this is a Target ad, okay? Thank you. Um, but you didn't tell me this. So I try to make sure I'm upfront about it. So I appreciate that. I like fruity scents, but not the ones that give you a headache. I can't deal. But fragrance being too high. Yeah, I, I can't. I love the Mono's hair clarifier. Like, that's the one thing from the product line I really love. But this fragrance is really high on the list. So that's a lot to handle. When I straighten my hair, I got to say a prayer. <laughs> yeah, I understand. What heat protectants will you use? Um. The one I used last time was from Pantene. 
Love you, Faye. Just logging in. Love you back. What's the 30 day detox? Honey, that's it's it's real long to get into. I'm not even gonna I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> you just just Google that one, honey. I, I can't. Um how do you help me? Yo. Anyway, <laughs> hey Faye, thank goodness I finished washing my hair today. Time to catch a live. Hey, I watched you and use the merch product in my hair. Love it. Really? I was text lax when I use Emerge. I don't remember my experience. I just remember I haven't repurchased anything. I might try that again. Yeah, no, just see how it work out. Um, I watched. I just read that. Say what is? Um, I believe it was good for antiviral, but I'm not sure, and I don't want to. You know, don't misquote me on it. So I can't remember. Where'd you get your glasses from? Zenny Optical. Hey Ashley. Hey, um, uh, is it Art Kimberly? You are awesome. I love your hair videos. You taught me how to take care of my natural hair. You take care of yourself. Love you back. Thank you. It does smell a hint like like a little bit. Of, <laughs> yeah, it does smell that way. I just joined the chat. Is this one Elijah keeping up? Yes. So far, I haven't, you know, nobody asked me about the brand. Y'all know I don't like. You know what? <laughs> bump, bump that. Can too. Okay, so. A lot of people, well, some people have been offended that I have been very vocal um, on my previous experience with them. And they were saying that the newer products are not like that. The original products, they I did use it. And like for the first day or so, my hair would feel good and soft. And then throughout the week, my hair would get really dry. So that's why I stopped using cancel. It wasn't because it was a popular trending thing to say I don't like it. It's just the original products dry my hair out. But I've been hearing more and more that the newer cancel products are actually good. So I've been thinking, y'all, I'm I'm thinking about taking one for the team. I'm thinking about taking one for the team. Don't quote me on it. Don't quote me on it. But I okay. We'll talk about that. I'll let y'all in here being messy. <laughs> no, Tyson not on her, so we ain't being messy right now. Find a stylist who also teaches those. Yeah. So when it comes to internet stylists, Pretty much the only one I listen to is uh, Linwood. I think it's this glam fam, something like that, because he teaches other stylists. So I'm like, you ain't just a stylist. You are a stylist educator. Now you, I would listen to. And so, yeah, that he's pretty much one of the only ones I listen to because of that reason. So I definitely agree with you. I'm, I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. Are you still using the same face wash products? Yes, I haven't really changed much of anything anything at all and i've been having some um yeah love glam fam yeah i've been having some hormonal acne like this visitor right here guess what's scheduled to come in two days i yeah you understand and so yeah she was like here she's on the way <laughs> so yeah <laughs> i love deeper than hair i love her and the reason i love deeper than hair is because she not only teaches but she's not arrogant in her teaching and she's not low vibrational so i can i can vibe that um so yeah i watch almost all her videos i may not comment but i watch all her stuff because it was it, it's very soothing to see have you ever tried the mono's hair deep conditioner no i only used um the curl primer the curl clarifier and the gel i remember the first day i did the gel uh I really liked it. It was like a lighter hole and my twist out was pretty, but it didn't last very long. So, um, yeah, that that's that. But I've never used her deep treatment. What is this? What is it? Oh, yeah, we're going to hide this comment. Thank you. Um, <laughs> yeah, it do get wacky, Kathy. Like after surgery, my hormones just been on some other stuff. Have you ever steamed your hair? No, but let me tell you something. So I have been using um, Olaplex Zero uh regularly since February because when I dyed my hair red I noticed some changes in my hair and I'm just like if anything go wrong I don't care who on the market now I'm going to Olaplex. So I've been using Olaplex since then. And so my stylist when I went to this the shop she used the same thing but she she actually steamed my hair and she said I feel like it opens up your cuticles more so you can actually receive more what the Olaplex is doing. I was like oh you want to something so I'm thinking about getting a steamer. Have you tried Kim Kimball's products yes i have i have a video on that um what about Treville lavar i've seen a video of his on narada's live stream and i actually really like him um a lot 
Um, I, when I said I'm more so listening to uh, Linwood for my hair, I meant like as far as my natural hair care, because a lot of stylists, they do like straighten styles. And the, the videos of LeVar Travels that I watched, they were really good, but they were more so for straighten style. I'm talking about like maintaining this. I listen to Glenwood. Uh, Glenwood. Linwood. <laughs> I really respect him. How's your allergic reaction doing? Child, it's it's not as red, but you can definitely see some discoloration in my neck. My hands finally stopped burning. Um, yeah, it's getting better, but I have been overdosing on cortisone 10. My sister gave me some Benadryl. I took some Allegra and I've been like massaging the cortisone and some Neosporin all over myself to get it to go away. Uh, you love Olaplex? I do have number eight and I'm going to try it. When I told y'all in the last watch video that I had, um, I'm going to do a dedicated video on Olaplex. I'm going to talk about my experiences with the other products, but I'm going to finally use number eight in the video with y'all. Uh, you left Kansu in the closet for a bit and open it later. Oh, don't scare me now, child, because I'm about to pull back on what I told you I might do. So don't scare me. I love steaming my hair. I use them portable cloth steamers from Amazon. Oh, that's what's up. Steam has revitalized your hair and skin. Oh, that's good. I've heard really good things about it. Denise and Moel both love the new cancel curl defining gel. Maybe a curl defining gel. Hmm. Y'all, who is Moel? Okay, here's the thing. I don't watch a lot of content um, as far as hair. Um, I watch like my friends and stuff, but I don't watch a lot simply because you'll find yourself being influenced by that. And so to keep myself as authentic as possible, I watch those that I just want to support, but I don't watch a lot of content. So sometimes when y'all say creators, I don't know who that is. So tell me who that is and I, I'll go try to support too. Um all things Mo Ill. Let me look her up too, Chad, because I, I don't listen. I got to, you know, start networking and stuff. But even outside of that, I try to support black women. So uh all things. Uh, um, hold on, y'all. Got it. Okay. She collabs with NJ a lot. I'm sorry. When I say I literally don't, I don't be knowing who y'all talking about. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> um, you said no can too. <laughs> okay. Well, I'll just, I'll, I won't do it. Y'all told me don't do it, so I won't. Okay. I have an old school hoodie dryer that has steaming capability. I may have to try that out. Oh, that sounds good. What do you credit for your hair growth seeing that you use many different products? Just asking. Um, Number one, I try a lot, but when I'm not on camera, my hair is in a bonnet and twist. I don't touch my hair. So I think by letting my hair rest, that helps. Um, I do take the main choice hair vitamins because I feel like whatever nutrients you aren't getting in your food, get it in a vitamin. So I do take that. And then I use my DIY hair growth oil and I massage it into my scalp. So that has been pretty much it. Um, I only follow a handful of of natural hair challenge because it can get overwhelming with all the different opinions and hair stuff. Yeah, and that has been me because like over the years, I found who worked for me and I stuck to it. Like before I started making content, this who I watched. I watched Mo No Hair, Mo Knows Hair. I watched uh, Nay, Janae Mason, Nay Too Curly. Raina is my sister in spirit. Like I love her. Um, who else did I watch? I watched, uh, hold on y'all because a lot of the stuff I watched was old school, like Natural 85, Border Hammer, Hair, Hair Crush, aka Chime Edwards. Like I found who worked for me years ago and I didn't venture out to anybody else because their hair looked similar to mine. They seemed like they knew what they was talking about. And when I would try what they recommended, it worked. So I ain't watching nobody else because I've been watching hair content over 10 years, but it was just like, if it wasn't the five or six people I was watching, no, nah, I, I didn't. I didn't. <laughs> it would be entertainment, but I never... I didn't watch too many other people. Um, have you tried Natural Licious line? No, I have not. Is Mrs. Jessie's pillow soft? I've never used it. Cute glasses. Thank you, y'all. Bless. I gave up these hair videos. I understand. You watch it in the same years. I love nice and curly. Just bought. I yes, her hair popping, hair type popping shirt. I bought one to support. Border Hammer actually just did a video. It wasn't related to hair though. So, um, but I love Border Hammer. Like seriously. 
Leave cancel alone. <laughs> okay, y'all. I'm gonna take y'all advice. Have you tried a lot for your hair products yet? No, I haven't. The OGs, these babies y'all watching now weren't around. Yeah, like I found who taught me about my hair and I didn't. And then because this was before Chime did like the texturizing situation before she started cutting, Chime's hair was goals. She is who I learned about twist out from because it's like, I was like, if what's working for Chime is getting her those results, everything she did, I did. So I was using the GPP, uh, is a GPB conditioner for my protein treatment. I was using Giovanni's leave, direct leave-in. Anything Chime put in her hair, I did. And I actually had good results. So yeah, I love me some hair crush. Um, how long is your silk press last? I didn't leave it in long, y'all. I think four days and then I washed it out, especially with like moving and stuff. I, the first place I sweat from is my scalp. So my roots was a hot mess. I love you, Faye. How you feel about me? I love me. Like seriously. I haven't used a lot, but the things I love, I did really like. Uh, Chime is definitely OG. Honey, uh, why am I calling you your screen name? Honey, you are OG. How about that? Chime was it. Yes, I loved Chime. Anything she did to her hair, I did. I gotta go edit. It. Okay, see you, Cook. You're so beautiful. Thank you. I wasn't big on YouTube, but besides Natural 85, I watched Latoya Ebony. Latoya has one of the sweetest spirits. Like, as a human being, I will always support her. I love her, seriously. NJ Eberhardt is, is it Nisha? I'll look up that name too, y'all. <laughs> yeah, listen, I'm sorry, y'all. I, I just stuck to my OGs. And then once my OGs taught me about hair and I found out what worked for my hair, I ain't really tried nothing else. So I didn't watch a whole lot of reviews and stuff. Like seriously, I didn't start watching a lot of stuff until I started making content. Around the time Mono's hair product line came out, that's when I started watching a lot of other videos because I, I started seeing so many conflicting reviews. Like some people absolutely loved it. Other people absolutely didn't. But that's how I found out a lot of other people. Um, like Whitney, I love her. That's how I found her. I found Alexis because of her thumbnail for Mono's hair. Okay. I've been subscribed since then because y'all know Alexis be putting that little screw face on. I'll be like, mm. and I'm like, girl, what's wrong with you? Her thumbnail is what got my attention. So I've been following Alexis since then. I've been watching Alexis since she was I've been watching her since Toya Boo. Yes. I have not used the the black and white mesh leave-in. I use the Boost one in the spray bottle, and I absolutely love it. But it's more so lightweight. So if you don't like lighter formulas, then you won't like that. But I haven't used the thicker formula, so I don't know how that is. Um, thank you for showing me how to do a good wash and go. Uh, oh, goodness. It went away. Um, this has been my best year since I found you in 2020. Been that's too last night. Oh, that's so awesome. Thank you. Hi, Jennifer. Yeah, coming so long. It's not, it didn't work for me at all. I remember, girl, I saw. Hey, Alyssa. Yes, we already talked about it. My life been in shambles because of the move. Haven't been eating right, haven't been drinking water, dehydrated, ain't took no vitamins. I've been a hot mess. Uh been wearing the same clothes, but all of that has been covered. This is gonna stay up though. Chimes, my girl. Yeah, me too. It is. <laughs> Beautiful brown baby doll. Oh, I love her. Cause we from the same city. Isn't she a doctor? I loved her. Oh, y'all bringing up all my OGs. You, Alexis, Whitney, and Sheree taught me how to do my hair. Oh, that's awesome. Your live is popping on a Saturday afternoon. Why is that so? Got that clap going up on a Tuesday. It's like he just dropped it and disappeared. I have a few I watch who have hair like me, but I faithfully watch you, Alexis, Denise, and Sheree. Thank you, Faye. Your name is cute. You're going to watch the replay. Oh, thank you. It hasn't been like, when I say my life is in shambles, I don't mean like it's no trauma going on. It's just scheduling has been mad. I've been missing deadlines for work. Um, I had the oil sale. Getting that out was rough. It's just, I've been putting a lot of pressure on me because of this move. But other than that, I'm all right. Like I'm not going through no traumatic episode or nothing like that. So um, your other place where you made me buy it. It changed my hair. Oh, that's so awesome. Thank you. I'm glad. Ouch, Lord. That hurt. Ooh, I'm glad it worked for you. That hurt a lot. You love my channel. Thank you. Star Puppy is amazing, too. She has hair like my husband, but we love the weird and awkward. That's good. Are you going to do some dance challenges on your TikTok? If DJ do it with me. But you know what? I would. But listen, when I tell you my dancing, listen, it's not that it's bad, but listen, 
it's gonna get a lot of attention, honey. Because, sir, you know what's going on back there, and I'll leave it there. You start shaking that, it's gonna go from ten thousand to a hundred real quick. So, <laughs> anyway, it says steam and work for you. I like to see you in my steam because it's not work for me. Where y'all send it? Thank you, girls. Keep your stuff. You don't have to send me nothing. If anything, give it to somebody in the chat because I don't want y'all feeling like y'all got to send me stuff. But thank you. They got Megan these. No, you got Megan these, ma'am. Okay, you. Oh, I love my natural sisters. Um, one of them just had a baby boy. Um, I think her name is Lynette. Oh, it's I love their channels and I love how they went about their separate ways. Is what y'all laugh at it? The twerk. Listen. Is it? It ain't the twerk. It's, it's the silhouette. It's, listen, y'all just don't know. Even when I showed y'all some, they still was hiding some. Y'all just don't know. Like, people pay for what I got, and I was just leave it at that. And the thighs match. Okay, let me move on. <laughs> DJ gonna kill me. Hi, sis. Um. Carmen is her name. That oh, that was Carmen. Okay, so which one of them was is it one of them was Lynette, I think. I don't know. Whichever one had the short haircut. Because that's who I used to watch when I had um my really short natural hair. That's who I watched. <sighs> y'all listen, that's what I keep it together, especially because y'all know I grew up sanctified. So I still have a context about a lot of stuff. I'm getting better, but listen, listen, listen. So I just I just keep it on together. <laughs> Carmen is Lynette. Wait. See, now y'all got me confused. I never knew all of their names. I knew one of them got into fitness. I think that was Lynette. I can't remember, y'all. Lynette's her middle name. Okay. Yes, I knew something. Okay. Yes, but I love them. You got no notification. You didn't miss anything. I was just telling them how my schedule has been packed because of moving. I actually had some work due today. Um, <laughs> this is what it is. Like, and it and it never feels okay. Then there's an India. India was the one that oh, okay. India was the main one for me. She had like a really beautiful big fro. I remember her. She had the, the cute cheeks or whatever. So, yes. Um, I was getting ready to tell y'all something, and I just lost it. Oh, my goodness. Um, I know you don't put groceries in your hair, but what do you think of fenugreek and tea rinses? I've never used fenugreek, so I can't speak to that. Tea rinses. Um, I tried this, once again, because of uh, Natural 85's influence. Um, I try to black tea rinse. Which I ain't do nothing for my hair, and I mean that. I was just like, you know, I, it's, I smell good, but it didn't do anything. Any food blogs coming soon? Yes. Um, especially now that I actually have uh, uh, something that's not a white refrigerator that, <laughs> that y'all gonna drag me about. But yes, I do plan on doing some cook with me type stuff. Um, DJ think he's uh, G Garvin. If y'all know who that is, he used to be on... Um, the black channel, the bearded man with the glasses, DJ call himself Ghetto G Corbin. So he gonna want to cook some stuff too. So y'all will see that. Girl, you missed a lot. Let's catch a fade. Not drinking water. <laughs> Not you just came and cleared me that fast. <laughs> water. A white refrigerator. Yes. Yeah, I tried to do my hair like Indians. It didn't work. Yeah, my mine either. That, no, that's why right. um, they were my OGs, and I watch. But the person, like I told y'all, e either Natural Eighty Five or Shine. But then I didn't like all those DIYs on me, and then I was the type like even when it comes to oils and butters, y'all know that um, Natural Eighty Five used to do like this homemade shea butter mix. Child, I was slapping that stuff on my hair every day. And when I say the buildup got crazy. So after that, and I finally got all of it off, I stopped doing DIYs. And I just, whatever child put in her head is what I did. And not the white refrigerator, honey, put your shoes on. Let's go find you a home. <laughs> Can I tell y'all something? I need Nene to come back to Housewives. Now, Portia might carry it because of this whole foolishness she didn't got herself into. But I tried to watch this last season. I was like, who's who's these boring girls? What is this? What what is this foolishness? I'm not getting Nene back here now. It, what what is this? Uh, but now that this whole Portia situation that popped off, I might have to watch. But yes, Nene got so many one liners. Um, 
Yeah, I learned that from her. She was talking about eggs not breaking down. I fully penetrated her. It's very true. Um, wait, did I comment? I was going to try Cantu just for y'all. And then y'all told me not to. So I'm like, why would I make content that y'all don't even want to see? So well, you won't be doing it. Uh, what's wrong with a white refrigerator? I don't find nothing wrong with it. Nene made a line on um, Housewives. And so ever since then, it's been a running joke. I say, if your refrigerator works, that's just what that is. Um, <laughs> so I saw your bid on Fertility Journey. Just want to encourage you since my mom had me at 36 with no complications. Thank you so much. Thank y'all. Um, the hair, girl in hair gel. I have it. I have not tried it yet. Um, about the fertility, because a lot of people, that's why I was very clear in that video that I'm not pregnant. And I made sure to say that multiple times because people sometimes get happy when they see the word fertility and automatically assume that you're pregnant. So, so I was like, no, no. Um, but as far as that journey, like I said before, uh, my doctor wanted me to wait a year after surgery before even attempting. So right now it's more so still trying to lose weight to make sure I minimize my, my midsection, midsection fat if I can. Um, and I'm trying to make sure I'm healthier, but my year is up in July. So before then, just know I'm not. Um, I said this season was a seed filler. Yeah, it was terrible. Just wanted to say, hey, hey, Cheryl, thank you. I'm like, because I'm moving in this twelve. Yes. And that's why my life is in shambles. Moving has been a mess. But I love my new place. It's really coming together. Um, we wouldn't even have you try that brand for our entertainment. You're not about to blame us for your hair being dry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but I seriously have heard that their new stuff is good. There's a scientist, and she's another one that I listen to, um, Sister Scientist on um, Instagram. She has been involved in their new formulations. Their old stuff, that wasn't her. But a black woman has been carrying the mission of the new Cantu stuff. That's the real reason I was interested in trying the newer stuff because a sister got involved. And although the company is not black owned, a black woman is reaping financially if they are succeeding because she did that. So that's why I was considering. But if y'all want to see it, I ain't, you know, amen. So I miss you, my love. Hey, you look beautiful. Thank you. Yeah, and I really wanted to come on because y'all know I make an effort to reply to every comment, even if I don't get to everyone. Majority of the comments on my videos I get back to because I try to do for others what I wish had been done for me before I became a creator. And I, I understand why people avoid the comment section because it can be very toxic. Um, and for your mental health, you probably need to abstain. But as much as I can, I try. But recently, because my schedule has been bananas, if y'all notice, I have not really been responding to comments. And that's why I was like, let me get on this live before they think I done got grand on them and all of that. So that's what's been going on. The messy me wants Phaedra. I want Phaedra back on this show. If Nene and Phaedra come back, oh, I will watch every episode. Um, You ain't been replying to me and I'm calling them. <laughs> <laughs> my bad girl like what i say i have not been able to check like seriously it's been insane like if it if the comment ain't in the first 15 to 20 minutes of me posting i have not been getting to it and i'm like oh i feel bad y'all my bad please say hair clean booty clean hair clean booty clean y'all i'm gonna say that in the next video let me tell you something else the old cancel was too perfect for me yeah so that's why i was thinking about trying the new one but like i said if y'all saying no Yes or no. Um, but I have a um speaking of two perfuming, I had a subscriber hit me up. This was months ago because I know I had a protective style at the time. Hey mother, I'm 21, just want to say your breath of fresh air from the top. Thank you, Angel. That really means a lot to me. And that's why like somebody told me you act like a princess, you act too perfect on camera. I'm like, no, it YouTube can be toxic. Can we be honest? Some people are toxic. So I just wanted to, to be known that on my channel, we ain't about that. Like we, it might be some fun shade here and there, but being flat out toxic, I ain't never doing that. So I really appreciate that y'all actually see that. Hi, Will! Child, I'm one of your biggest fans. I need to start commenting more so y'all can know I actually be watching y'all stuff. But yo editing, top two and it ain't number two, period. And that's just that. So yeah, I really do appreciate your work. Thank you for commenting. What was I going to say? Oh, so I had a subscriber hit me up and he told me he found my channel um, right when I did the TPH review. Was it last year? No, it was two years ago. 
And um, he said that when it came to him, he was going through a depression at the time. And I ain't going to get into all his business. And y'all know who I'm talking about anyway, but he was going through a really bad time. And he said that that video really helped him. And so I promised him, I said, just for you, because he was sharing what he was facing. I said, just for you, I'm going to get the new TPH products and I'm going to make a video for you. I have not been able to because of um, the protective style and contractual guidelines. Of course, I got to do that because mother needs to pay her rent. But because I promised him that, Y'all gonna get that video soon, and if mother show out, just know it's because he he asked her to. So, yeah. Uh, not me on live with Faye and see Will and Alexis comment. Honey, Will popping up is just like listen. Will is everything, and his hair is nice. Um, hey girl, hey, hey Rhonda, love you back. Watch your watch and go last night. And what well, she's talking to him? But yeah. So yeah, but I promised him. I would do uh, the TPH products. So in place of Cantu, we're going to get the, the TPH. Now, I'm not going to go into it, you know, negative or nothing like that. I'm going to give it an honest chance. But whatever my honest thoughts are, y'all going to get them. So just know y'all going to get that video. So I'm actually glad we had this conversation because I completely forgot um, that I promised him that until somebody brought up toxicity on YouTube. So is Will a good channel to watch? Child, he is everything. Like, seriously, I love the fact that, speaking of toxic, you will never get that on Will's channel. Like, seriously, everything that he put, to me, is funny. And it's not a forced funny. Like, he really funny naturally. So, I really like him. So, yeah, if you like my channel, you will be obsessed with Will. He is everything. Uh, hey, Scarlet Rose. He needs to share a few inches. Child, who, who are you talking to? Okay, he needs to. Pull them to the party. Hey. Uh, yes, she does have new products. <laughs> So if y'all see the video, y'all know why I did it. Because like even when it came out, I got messages from people saying, oh, let, let me not do that. But anyway, yeah, just know it's coming soon. Um, do you okay? So as far as the new name, someone said just do combos in the city. And I was just like, you know what? I like this. So I'm gonna go with that. Um, you know, speaking of twerking, listen to me. One of the best ones I have ever seen on social media. Before I say who I'm talking about, put it in the comments who y'all think, who I who I think the uh it's a male too. So that should let y'all know. And uh he needs to give me some tips. Who y'all think I'm talking about? Hi, Pamela. You finally caught it. Yay! Y'all better say in the comments because if y'all don't know who I'm talking about, it's, it's, you don't sound enthused. I am. I no, I don't know who CJ is, y'all. I'm gonna look that up. Capri, you already know. Y'all already know who I'm talking. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. Zo is everything. <laughs> it was when he did. Um, Cardi reposted him. I was like, oh, I didn't know. I thought that he only did like, like the, you know. Trending topics and stuff. I didn't know at the time, but once Cardi reposted, I was like, "Oh, I see. Yes." <laughs> Speaking of Will Smith, because I just saw that comment, the dad bod movement. Can I be honest with y'all? I like that. <laughs> like when they was like, "We we going to the gym." I'm like, "Your body look fine to me, sir." Like I I I don't see what you see. Like I know you know how you want your body to look, but I I didn't think Will body looked bad at all. I thought he looked real nice. And then Marlon Wayans gonna throw his stuff in there. I'm like, sir, you are in excellent shape. Get out of my face. Um, yeah, Zoe's like. <laughs> so, anyway, y'all, I've been on her an hour. I thought she was gonna say I don't need that. No, I, I wasn't gonna say that at all. <laughs> Hi, Tiffany. Hi, y'all. Um, let's see. You got a day, but listen, this body looks like I was. <laughs> you crazy for real. You admire the series. I think it's good too. Like, seriously, and this some um, uh I've been saying a real name, child. Love King Forever made a comment on a fertility video about men's health. And that that to me. Is something that I wish that people pay more attention to, like especially as black men, 
like black men um health and i don't know this seems like a lot of them don't like to go to the doctor anyway so seeing someone as big as will smith talk about health that to me was big so i like that um keep going oh <laughs> y'all because like some people like long lives other people don't so for 10 of y'all that say y'all like y'all don't care that i get two more be like girl you talk too much so it's just like <laughs> okay dad bods are real <laughs> i like dad bods though like i, I just do what's his name y'all um I wouldn't quite say it's a dad by, but Megan the Stallion's security guard. I won't say anything else. I'll just I'll just leave it. I'll just leave it there. So uh, if you know Megan the Stallion's security guard, then you you know what I'm talking about. Okay. Um, we having fun just talking on a Saturday. Okay, and I'm gonna leave this up because this wasn't bad. Um, yes. Hey Vanessa and Purpose. I like how it was yeah, I liked it too. I feel like it was fitting and it wasn't too like forced or anything like that. I feel like it fit. Men don't like going to the doctor. Yeah, I remember you like a muscular man. Ain't nothing wrong with that either. Um, I just listen, I like what I like. I like what I like. Uh, <laughs> and to me, dad boss look good. <laughs> um, what was I getting ready to say? Um, yes, men going to the doctor. I remember um my great grandfather, but he, that was also the time too, because you know our elders went through a lot. Um, they saw a lot, so there was a lot of reasons for mistrust. But I remember close to the end. You have to force him to go. Um, a lot of men don't. What I would say, I respect and honor about my dad. My dad don't play with his ear. If he cough wrong, he going to the doctor. <laughs> and then my grandfather on his side, uh, my dad's dad, that man going to live at least to 100. He, if he sniffle, he going to the doctor. And that's what I will say. My dad now, they going to take care of the health. Uh, but I have seen a lot of... Um, a lot of black men not want to go, especially like uh, prostate exams and stuff like that. That's important, but they don't be want to go. Um, better drink y'all ICV in the 60. Yeah. Yes. You love my transparency. Thank you. Real tall men don't go to the doctor as much. That's why their lifespan is shorter than women. Real, uh, real talk. Okay. Yeah. It said tall. And I was just like, tall men don't go. But I, I get it now. <laughs> Dad buys are okay. 60 months pregnant. Beer bellies. Oh my goodness. I oh my gosh. I just because I don't want to say like I'm body shaking. I'm just saying I like dad vibes. Everybody is beautiful. And I'll just leave it at that. But I like dad vibes. And I'll just say that. My husband hates the doctor. He caught the flu and thought he was dying. And that's when he went. Yes, yeah, like they gotta be like at the point where they just they have no choice. <laughs> and I'm just like, dude, just go. Go. And they just don't. <laughs> The men in your family don't miss a doctor's appointment. That is good. That is awesome. Like, seriously, I respect that. I just wish they would go. Yeah, that's true. Your, your stepfather, my condolences to you. Yeah, I just wish sometimes they would just like be a little bit more proactive. Because, me personally, I try to do a little home remedy or, or something for a little while because I'm very much so into homeopathics and stuff like that. I believe in the uh, ancestors things that they did with herbs and stuff. I believe in all that. But I just try for a little while. If it don't work, I mean, peel me up. Okay. Like I don't think you should throw a pill at everything, but sometimes it's necessary. So I, I do believe in going. Um love your flow. Thank you. Another thing I think is black men won't talk about their feelings. Yeah. I, I love the move on social media now where a lot of them are becoming more open to therapy and stuff like that. I love saying that, but I also know it's an uphill battle just because culturally we got a lot of stuff and that I just feel like that was more damaging than good, you know, suck up your feelings and all this stuff. Hot toddy. Yes, that's very true. That, that works. Go to the Dr. Nag, to the regimen. <laughs> yes. Uh, say I give myself a week at most and then I'm scheduling an appointment. Yeah. Also, their babies. Oh my God, I have a cold. I'm dying. And 
And then if you don't treat them like a baby, but like you don't care. I, I care, but I also get cramps once a month and I still get up and work. I also, you know, a lot of women, we deal with sicknesses and still have to take care of the family. Your, your runny nose will be all right. I, I will not coddle you. OK, <laughs> it wasn't for my granddad never missing the doctor's appointment. They wouldn't have caught his prostate cancer early. That's beautiful that he did go. Money is a really good worker as well. OK. What's what's that? Anyway, y'all, um, I'm getting ready to go. <laughs> yes, men are big babies when they get sick. Like, ugh, it's annoying. All right, y'all, because I got a video that's due tonight, so I do need to go. But I just wanted to, you love the shape of my hair. Thank you. I wanted to make sure I pop on and let y'all know I wasn't being grand by ignoring the, the comments. I ain't switching up or nothing. I just been busy, y'all. So that's the only reason. Um, but after the move from Texas here, which will be at the end of the month, that is next week. After that, then I will be um, back to my normal flow of things. Y'all, this, this is about to be an adjustment. Y'all going to see a whole lot more changes or whatever. So you love my glasses? Thank you. These had to grow on me because I felt like they were a little too, too mature. But I actually like them now. So anyway, let's take a second. Submission, how you and your content have been so uplifting during the parallel ground. You've really helped so many people get through. Thank you. Thank you very much. You love me. Love y'all back. Love you. Babu. Okay. Yeah. So I'm going to go y'all. So I, I got to get this video done and I've got one more set of orders that I have to take to the post office and get that done. So I don't play with the Saints money. Yeah. I ain't going to never be able to say I stole nothing. So with that being said, I'm gone y'all. I'll see y'all next time. Bye.